Hello guys, this is Trishant and Tristan from Island All Mazda. Just making a little how-to tutorial video on how to use the My Mazda Connect app and its services. And Trishant, what do you got going on here, man? I'll start with the registration part. Okay. You click on register. Put in your email. Ocho line two, please. Ocho line two. Confirm the email. Okay. Click on next. Yeah. Put in your phone number. Next. You will get an SMS validation code. And that takes up to nine minutes. But I got it in less than 30 seconds. Okay. The code for me is 796-700. 796-700. Don't worry guys, this is going to expire in 10 minutes. So you should be worried about it. Number verified. Asking to access my contacts. All right. Now we'll be filling some personal details out here. Name, last name, preferred prefix, postal code, and all of that. Perfect, so this is how it's going to look. Now we choose a password. This part is going to get cut. Let's move on to the next part. Master one. Congratulations, your account has been successfully registered, is what you will get after that. Perfect. Now the next step is to add a vehicle. So click on add vehicle. And you're just going to scan your win. Come down the side of the door panel here. And he's going to use his phone to put it up to the VIN number down here on the side of the door. And it is it's gonna just take... as easy as it is. Yeah. Just got to put that VIN within the bars that it gives you on the phone. Perfect. Validate. That is done. Vehicle name. Choose a vehicle name. Then you have to select your dealer, your preferred dealer. Click on add. And it generally shows the nearest dealer. For us, it is Island Down Mazda. And click on set preferred dealer. Would you like to register this dealer as a preferred dealer? Of course, yes. Submit. You have successfully added your vehicle and it is connected. Do you want to enroll now? Yeah. Connected services enrollment, tap start to enroll connected services, click on start. It's a long list of terms and conditions, but I'm sure if you want to use the app, it is an essential part to agree to it. Click on accept, click on I agree. If you guys want to read, of course, you are free to do it. Now, because we don't want to do, we don't want to make the video that long. Click on accept again. Perfect. Turn ignition on. Now this step requires me to go inside the car. Here, Trishan, you'll need the keys. Let me go, mate. Sitting in here. It says, do not, do not drive the car, but you have to be inside. Yeah, he's just going to turn the engine over and it'll show him a um, access code. It'll Turn on the car. As soon as that is turned on, click on request. Now the car will give you an authorization code out here. There it is. Appears okay. up on the screen right up on here, guys. Mm -hmm. It takes about 30 seconds to do it. 
and the code for us is 916722 so he's just gonna plug that into his phone now 722 submit processing your enrollment it says please switch the ignition off and then on to complete the enrollment so we got to turn the engine on and off once more. Yeah, basically we're just restarting the entire car mm -hmm. and resetting the system out here. To on close. Perfect. If you guys can see out here in my app, it shows my vehicle now. This is the win number for the one. Perfect. All right. It's asking me to enable biometrics. That's because it's an Android. If you've got an iPhone, it's called face recognition. If you want, you can enable mm -hmm. it. Touch sensor, enabled. Just for your extra protection, if you don't want to do it, don't do it, it's mm -hmm. totally up to you. Now, look at this, that is your main screen. Now, this is what you will always see when you first turn on your app. Now, right here, if you see on the main screen, it shows you your remaining fuel level, your car model. Down below, it's got a big start and stop button. Let's turn the car off first and show you how that works. Yeah, and we'll come out here. Mm -hmm. Lock the car. You guys saw it? So the car does have to be locked in order to use your remote start, guys, just so that no one's hopping in your vehicle while you have a nice coffee in the morning, putting yeah. a remote start in your car. You can see that I'm pressing the button here. Sweet. Now, this, this is a warning, not a warning, just some um, instructions that it gives you. It says uh, this is your first time and it won't happen again this instruction all this says is that this will run for 15 minutes before automatically shutting off yeah so that you're not wasting a lot of your um, yeah. battery in there in case you've accidentally remote started your car and you weren't aware of it it'll just fire it off after 15 yeah. minutes if just you for haven't safety reasons and it says remote requests will not work if key fob was left in the vehicle again some safety features it's got a lot of other features as well. Of course, you guys are free to read it. Click on OK. The request is sent. Click on OK again. It takes up to 30 seconds to record it. Yes, Tristan? Uh, to start the car, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. it takes about 30 seconds, right? Yeah, yeah, about 30 seconds. It's just got to shoot up to the satellite and come back down. Perfect. There it goes. There's your remote start. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now the car is started. If you can see here, if you if you saw in the screen, yeah, it changed from starts to stop the button. That means the car is started. If you're not anywhere near your car, this is how you can figure it out by looking at what button it's showing. Yeah. Now it shows stop. You click on stop. Hold it for about five seconds request has been sent so now he's going to cut off the engine just like that and the engine has been cut off the button is still stop but in a second it will change to start and it will also send you messages directly to your phone each time you start or stop your car unlock or unlock the doors exactly. so you're not guessing it'll send a text message so straight right, to your I'm phone show you how that happens in a sec mm -hmm. let's show you how to unlock the car just click on that oh you gotta hold it down request has been sent okay could yeah. you guys hear it oh yeah perfect that unlocked the car let's just lock it Ooh, it's showing me some notifications on my watch as well which is really nice which is really nice if you guys wear apple watches or any other android watches lock request sent click on okay there it is your beep beep. Yeah. So it's got some other features as well. Um, you can beep your horn down there on the bottom right if you're in a parking lot looking for your car. Hold that down. Remote operation is in progress. Please wait for a while and try again. This happens 
if you're doing a lot of uh, operations at once yeah it gives you an error to slow down yeah now um, you have to wait for about 10 15 seconds depending yeah. and we can try again yeah it can only be sending one signal at a time so if you're trying to send it two messages so the at once that i just pressed is turning the lights on there's your horn beep there you go lights on lights off request sent now it will turn off the lights perfect shows you an option to close the remote as well click on close remote it just gives you a start and stop really good features if you just want to sit at your place and uh, turn on your car or turn off now the next option if you see on the screen is called status click on that it shows you your vehicle status it doesn't show you your vehicle status in the first instance just because we just registered you take it out for a spin come back that's when it will load yeah uh, we won't worry a lot about all of that here it says uh, your fuel percent it also shows your odometer reading it also shows you if your doors are unlocked or locked yeah your trunk that is a lift gate as well your hood or your hazard lights yeah and all it, of that and i was just going to say and if you walk away from your vehicle not knowing you've left it unlocked it'll actually send you a notification straight to your phone just letting you know hey did you mean to leave your doors unlocked here's exactly. the option click here and it'll lock your doors for you so it's just a nice friendly reminder exactly let's move on to the next step here click on back again click on services service health report it shows you the health report of the car of course because these are new cars right now so nothing's gonna happen for years and years and years but later on it shows you your health report on how all of your things are in your car it'll let you know your next milestones when your next oil change is due exactly your engine oil amount on how much it is left yeah. to renew and right below that it shows you an option to schedule your service mm -hmm. pretty convenient just click on that it will take you to your preferred dealer for us like yeah. we just said it is island all master yeah it takes you there it books you an appointment right at island all master super oh, convenient exactly the next step now sorry i pressed the wrong button click on help now this helps feature shows you a roadside assistance and you click on it it opens up a new app of course we don't want to go into roadside assistance for this moment so we are coming back click on contact retailer you can allow and it opens up your phone and you can contact island owl for us again just because that's what we've set you guys can change it according to where you live mm -hmm. right click on search you can search any place out here on the app um, and Tristan did you know if you search it here and click on the um, the place for mm -hmm. us let's try Tim Hortons Tim Hortons <laughs> it shows you different Tim Hortons out here oh yeah yeah when you click on one it shows you an option to send to your car oh really let's 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 show everyone how that's done so it'll communicate straight from there and pop it up on yes. your nav yeah so now the car is turned on I searched for the nearest Tim Hortons the, you can of course favorite it you can share it out you can use this app for all your other features as well for all your other GPS features as well but if you want to send it to car straight from there your POI has been successfully sent to 2021 CX-5 which is this one which I will say right now I don't know if it's actually going to transfer there Trishant because this mm. is a uh, it it doesn't have a nav chip installed exactly it's a, yeah so if you were hardwired to it it would mm -hmm. pop it would propagate on the screen there exactly but if you guys like me don't want to wire your phone every time you step in your mm -hmm. car get this navigation sd card you can yeah. buy it from us or you can even buy it online or if you get a gt trimmer higher it comes with the nav chip installed exactly so yeah, click, uh, click on OK because for us, it's not showing up at the moment. Yeah. But if you have that chip, I think, 
how much does it cost? It's about five hundred dollars, I think. Yeah. Right. So about five hundred dollars. Pretty good. You can yeah. use our app, and of course, you can send navigation yeah. to it as well. Or if you're hardwired, it will connect to the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, <laughs> and you don't even need the nav chip. Exactly. Yeah. So let's just close that. Let's go back. Let's show you the next feature out here. That is search location it looks pretty similar to what we just saw mm -hmm. but this thing is different now if you can see on the screen it shows you retailers for us well, island all yeah because, because that's it's our where, registered dealer exactly my retailer is what we've registered yeah but this retailer is what we were talking about yeah is retailers around you okay and Campbell River only has one. Yeah. So maybe if you're living in Vancouver or Toronto, yeah. you've got multiple mass yeah. dealers. You can just it would populate it. all the different ones for you to choose yeah, from. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Fuel, if you just want to go to a gas station. Nearest gas station. Nearest show gas you all. Station. That's really nice. Favorite. <laughs> you can add favorites if you yeah. want. You can search it out here. Yeah. So it's for Tim Hortons earlier. My car. Again, this feature here is so good you can track your car anywhere you can sit in your fo uh, house and track your car if 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 you've got kids who just started driving you can give them your car and you will have, you'll, you'll have a, you'll, knowing and exactly they're where they're taking that car they tell exactly. you they're going to the corner store and back well now you can know <sighs> now you can know yeah yeah so um or if you guys live in a big city or if you park your cars in big parking lots and you forget forget where it is me, yeah like, you can pull up the app and i'll show you exactly where your car has been yeah, left yeah. really and, really super and, convenient and, now. <coughs> sorry about that yeah it can show you where it is you can also um turn your the, uh, hazard lights on so that you can uh, so that you can see where it is clearly, yeah or turn your beep on as well perfect your horn yeah. Well, the last section here, you see inbox with red dots. Let's turn the car off. Let's save some yeah. fuel. This is where I'll send all of your notifications. If it's letting you know that you've left your lights on or left your car door unlocked, it'll. Mm -hmm. this is where all those emails will populate. And you can come in here to see any history of them. Mm -hmm. Activity history. It shows you everything that you've done at exactly when the it was same done. Minute, yeah. Even seconds and milliseconds. Mm -hmm. News and updates. If there's any updates out coming there. out from Mazda, that's what. Yeah. yeah. The last part is for your maintenance. If it requires maintenance, yeah. Vehicle status shows you anything. If it's doors locked. unlocked or whatever's going on, lights left on, it'll all show you right in there. Exactly. What's the three buttons here? Marked as dead, delete messages. Oh, okay. No, not imperative. Just to, yeah. yeah. Just, just to manage, like just to manage your inbox if yeah. you want to delete some of your messages. For me, I've got OCD. I really like to delete everything. There you go. Gone. Cleared out. Yeah. So there you have it. That is your My Master app. Your remote. Your status. Your service help and search. Also the manuals I think we just uh, need to show them the manuals that can be accessed up there Trishant. So under there what was it under My Mazda. So you have different uh, all those different options in there and there's also the manuals and guides in there if you want a digital copy mm -hmm. of your manuals and guides right there at your fingertips mm -hmm. you can just click on that. You got your owner's manual, your smart start guide, your Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, Mazda Connect. So just all your manuals right in there. In case you don't want to be hacking around yeah. the paper copy anymore. Yeah, just throw away your paper copy. Yeah, and yeah. Save, Sa save them trees, guys. Like, See? look at that. We're all, we're gotta it be... just takes up your glove box. Yeah. Just throw it away. You Listen, have it just all. do it right now. Do no. it right now. Let's just do it right now. Because this won't be needed. No, it won't be just needed without. Because with we've got each everything and everything out here on this app. Exactly. Okay? Awesome, uh, guys. So while we are throwing everything away, <laughs> 
This is our farewell for the video. Yeah. And uh, it was nice talking to you guys. Yeah, lovely and talking to you guys. And yeah, if you guys have any questions beyond this video, just please post it below down in the comments. And yeah. We would be more than happy. To more than you. happy to help you guys. Any issues yeah. you got, we'll help you in any way we can. But we hope this video was helpful. Mm -hmm. And there's your My Mazda Connected Services app tutorial. Hope you guys are out enjoying this beautiful sunny day. And we hope to see you down at the dealership sometime soon.